Uh, hey everybody, welcome back uh, to more Let's Play Paper Mario 2 The Thousand Year Door. Alright, in the last episode we um, we got to, ch to chapter 1, and in this episode we're going to continue on looking for Goombella, she looks so weak. And what was that? That can't be good, oh dear. Whoa, what was that? Oh, is that a... Wow! Mario, look! It's a dragon. Oh, boy. Totally incredible. I've never seen anything like that humongous before. It looks kind of... Well, it looks kind of scary, too. Weird. Professor Franklin said this place was peaceful. Yeah, and they got a dragon. Wow, crazy. We just started and already there's an intrigue. Come on, Mario, let's go. God, the soundtrack to this game, it's amazing. I also, oh, wait, I thought I was supposed to get something out of that tree. Let me try anything on this side. No, no, no. Ah, I'm gonna see that tree there. Alright. Nothing. Nothing. Oh, I just randomly hit a Goomba with my hammer. Awesome sauce. My poor Goomba is still in danger. I can kill these Goombas easily, man. The Goombas in this game are pathetic. Alright, so taking you out. Come on, buddy. What are you? What are you gonna do? Oh, wow, you would, you would aim for the weaker one. <laughs> you would. That's your own kind, you jerk. Yeah, isn't it a little weird to see a Goomba happen to take down another Goomba? Only in Paper Mario will that ever actually happen on a Mario game. And I got 12 star points. And if you play my last game, you know what star points are, you know, blah, blah, blah. Sleepy, sheepy. Sleepy, sheepy, sheepy. Well, I'm okay, well, I'm not copying the growth. Ooh, close call. Uh... I might put that on later, I don't know. There's a Paraguma. Let's take you down. Easy. Are right, you Bella? Head bonk. God, I love you, Gumbella. And I got six star points. All right. And let's head through this. Hey, get behind it. Let's get through that pipe. Oh, I can't get that yet. That's uh, that's oh, I didn't mean to jump on you. Crap! I can't jump on the oh crap. Camel, you just appeal. Alright, I think I'm gonna do a sweet treat. I'm gonna demonstrate what this does now. Now, if you remember, um, the. Oh, what? I can't remember. These, um, whatever these are, crystal stars, yeah. Um, pretty much you, what you have to do is they each give you an ability, and this one you have to tilt the left C stick back, and they will upgrade, it will you to upgrade your health. I'm gonna make a terrible job doing the mine because they're keeping those poison mushrooms that stop you. And wow, Goombella, you got up by six. Uh, crap. You know, I'll just get rid of that stupid sleepy sheep. I'll show you what it does. I never showed it during my first let's play because it was totally useless. And why it didn't work? What? Oh, it's cheap! You know what? Die! Alright. Hit the coin block. So yeah, what games have you guys been playing lately? I've been playing a lot of Mar uh, Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga um, on the Wii U. Because I downloaded it on the Virtual Console, which is really nice to actually have that on my Wii U. 
Oh, one more thing, Mario. If you ever find yourself, like, wondering, wondering what to do, just to press X and use my title ability, okay? Uh, useless ability, because I know how to do everything. Just kidding. Because we toys can see everything. So play nice. And also, like, this is... Like, the stage is so crabby that they actually breaks. I actually always thought that was pretty funny. Let's head bonk you. Nice job, Goombella. Um, I mean, I like Goombario and all, but she's a lot more helpful right now. That's just something I actually liked about that. Wow, I did a super guard right. But uh, that's just something I really like about this game more more than the other. In the, uh, kind of like, like so something I like about um uh, I can't talk. Um, but yeah, I check behind that bush, and there's a pipe. And there's some coins randomly there. But like I was saying, like what I like about this game more than the uh, first Paper Mario than the first Paper Mario game is. Uh, this one, you a you're actually allowed, your partners are actually allowed to take damage, like they actually have their own health and everything, which I really liked about this game, because in the first game they couldn't. And I think this is actually kind of cool, actually. Because it's like a storybook, actually, which I always appreciated that they did that. Make it feel like a storybook. But yeah, well, we're doing a great timing, I mean, we're only six minutes in, so yeah, we're only... And I got a star piece, we're I don't think there's anything else here. But yeah, like I said, I really like the graphics of this game because they look more papery. It gets the paper. Like this game's called Paper Mario, and it really fits the. And this really looks like everything's like you know I'm in a world made out of paper, which I always like that idea. This is why it's my favorite personal favorite Mario game is because it, it's just such a great game. But I will say Mario. And, though I will say I do like Mario and Luigi. Like like back, back what I was saying about Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga is the one problem I have with that game is I really do not like the final boss because I have never been able to actually beat the final boss. I mean it's cool looking and all, but I've never actually been able to beat it. Ooh, and mystery! I might actually use that sometime later. Right in there, and the fire flower, nice. Uh, let's head into the village. Petalbird! Welcome, travelers! Oh, hmm? Where are you, you ask? Why, this is Petalbird! Sorry, but it's a long time since we've had visitors here. Here, we're kind of remote. Yep. Yepity, once the drag, it, the dragon hooktail was spotted flying around this area. Well, I didn't have the tourism, put it that way. People just stopped visiting. Dragon Hooktail? That must have been that huge thing we saw- huge thing we saw earlier, Mario. So it's called Hooktail, huh? Ooh, scary name. <laughs> so anyway, where's Green Boots? I- Where- So anyway, Green Boots. Have you heard of those things called Crystal Stars? We're on a quest for them, it's very important. Crystal Stars, you say? Hmm. Nope. Can't say that I have. Sorry about that. You might want to speak to the mayor, though. He's old. Really, really old. As such, he knows all kinds of stuff. We don't We don't know. We don't. Koopa's, Koopa of his age are um, really smart. Anyway, the mayor lives in the pink house up ahead. You should go check it out. A pink house? Sounds totally hideous, but it should be easy to find. You're pink, Goombella. Seriously, she's pink. Thanks for your help. Oh, whoa. Nah, that's why I must be falling in the water. I think I'm gonna go uh, to this toad house here and rest up a little bit. That, that's good, sir, isn't it? And rooms are like, I'm going for nine. Catch time. I'll take the night. Very good, thank you, sir. God, the soundtrack to this game is just so amazing. I really love the soundtrack to this game. That wasn't the first one was my favorite. Did you sleep well, sir? Do you come back soon? That's one thing I like about the first Paper Mario game. For the first Paper Mario game, over this one is the music's a lot better in the first game. So yeah, like I was saying, let's keep going. And why do I keep falling in the water? God dang it. God dang it, Mario, stop falling in the water.
I'm sorry I'm quiet there, I was fixing my camera. So anyway, let's talk to this dude. Uh, but you, mademoiselle, it's a beautiful day, no? No, 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 not you, Mr. Mustache. I'm thinking to the lovely little cabbage behind you. What do you say, my pretty? Abandon the dull hearted and come away with moi. Ew, are you kidding? Ew, nice big you disco wannabe. <laughs> Take a high bowl of the door. <laughs> oh, ho, ho, scary, but. Scary blue, scary brutal, on the Sunday sharp tongue. Yeah, I shall be too for now if you change your mind. Shall we come find me? What a total sleaze. <laughs> Let's go so <somewhere> smart. <laughs> I love that guy. <laughs> oh, that was too funny. Alright, let's stay here. And, uh, let's go into this house. And let's, um, buy a pow block. I don't care, I know how the stores work, I don't need to hear that, blah blah blah. I'm gonna buy a pow block. I'm gonna buy another one. Because if something comes up later and you'll trust me, you're gonna want it. Yeah, I got some pow blocks, and my me and Google are fully re healed. And I don't need, and I think I already used that safe block, I don't know. I have a feeling that dude's gonna pop up, that, that white, little white ba bomb there's gonna pop up again. It's just a feeling. I like this bubble. -ob. This village is very nice. Clear water, clean air, absolutely delicious. But this foul hooktail and made everyone forget their fortunes. How sad. Okay. And whoa, it's a girl Koopa. I'll talk to her in a minute, but first we gotta go into this pink house. And whoa, how did they get up there? Did you see I glitched up there? Holy crap! Huh? What's that someone there? Who is it? Who? What do you want from me? I know, you're thieves! Here to rob an old defenseless old Koopa. Despicable. You are despicable. Go on, do what you want. Well, but as you can plainly see, there's nothing here to steal. Oh, I guess a little money taking you fiends and and my antique shell. Oh yeah, yeah I totally want your antique shell. Just leave the photos and me and the missus. Can't do without those memories. No, I'm gonna steal the photos. What? Aunt fiends, you say? Well, then what's your story then? Oh wait, you folks looking for the crystal stars? Well, then why don't you pipe up before you, little jeep? We're just wasting time here. The crystal star, you say you're hunting? Mmm, wait. Where did I hear about those dang things again? Aha, I got it. Hooktail. Hooktail's got what you're looking for. It's an, it's this enormous, ordinary dragon. Eat, folks, they say. You know Hooktail, all right. Of course. Well, this Hooktail's brutal flyby snacks having have all of us on pins and needles. So are you wreck- So are you, you reckless fool? I mean, are you- <laughs> Are you gallant heroes off to rub it up a bit? You got it. This does sound promising. Why, if you can rid us of Hooktail, we'll shower you with the gratitude and rewards. Wait, what's that? Are you here? You'll accept no reward? Of course I won't. What an unselfish man, you're noble indeed. Yep, a good egg. Now, what do you say your name was again? Murphy? Hmm, that's a fine name, yes. The no nine is the Well, not Murphy. The name is Mario. I appreciate that, Murphy, but you have, the ni you have nice eyebrows. Now listen up, if you're an intent on going to, to Hookdale's castle, find the secret pipe near the village. I don't know where it's at, but I know you'll need some stone keys to use that pipe. The keys are somewhere in the Schoenwink Fortress, just past the village. Go get them first. Oh, yeah. Well then, Murphy, get going and take care of that Hooktail monster. Also, we can't get past this. That was still so cool, though, how hilarious he got up there. <laughs> Why well, I like glitched up there and there's let's talk to her. Oh uh, hello there, my name is Cootie Pie Coon. Oh no, you're not really the Bowser, are you? It's nice to meet you. Oh my gosh, that hat, those overalls and the and, and and that magnificent mustache. You're Mario, aren't you? I've heard tales of how strong you are. If you hear that means you're going to challenge that monstrous hooktail. Ooh, if I don't feel the coops were as brave as you. Coops. Who the heck is coops? What did you say? You mean you actually are going to Hooktail's castle? I can't believe you dared challenge that behemoth. It eats people. Often. Uh, it's really, in, it's really not my business, but it's one scary dragon. That's no lie. Oh, thanks, dude. Gonna make you feel a little better. Oh, I got an email. You got mail. 
Uh, okay, also, I forgot to mention this game, we also got this mailbox thing. Uh, mailbox has speed, pretty much the same letters, we got a letter from Franklin. Hello, Mario, working hard, but it's a Franklin. In email, in e form. I highly likely you'll receive an email like this once you're on your journey, so check your journey, so so check your, your mail often. I actually have nothing more to say than that. But so I hope all goes well for you, and I look forward to getting more information on those crystal stuff. Professor Frankly. Also, you know this in that garbage bag? Yeah, his garbage bin or whatever, you might want to get that. Also, they send you emails about what's going on in the rogue port, but I'm not going to read those. Oh, an old stronghold called Swink Fortress lies ahead. A stone creature lives there. At least it might live there. The gate is going to keep it out. My job is guarding the gate. But if the mayor says it's okay, I'll let you pass. Careful out there, though. Um, excuse me. Er, I beg your pardon. Wait a moment. Please! Alright, it's that downer Koopa again. Pardon me for yelling like that. I was panicking, um, how to begin. My, my name is Koops. I heard that you're traveling the Hooktail Castle. Yes. So anyway, I um I have a favor to ask. Dot 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 dot. Well dot 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 um dot dot dot. Oh just dot dot. Oh just forget it. Never mind. Ignore me. Good good goodbye. Okay, that was weird. What do you say? What do you think that was all about? Talk about issues. <laughs> oh, I love Goombella. Oh, I'm eating I'm eating Laffy Taffy while I'm recording this. Good luck, you guys. Ha! I got the first strike. And wow, I just killed it easily. Let's use Goombella's Tattle. And there we go, that's a stylish command for it. That's a Koopa Troopa, they've been around forever. I gotta respect the long activity. Their shells are hard, but flip them over and their defenses drop to zero. And you know how to flip them over, right? Just jump on their heads. Anyways, let's attack him again. And... Die! Yeah! And oh god! I hate those poison shrooms so much. Oh, and I level them up. Nice. And with my first level up, it's gonna be my HP. That's what I like to do. I like to do HP, FP, then BP, like you did back in the first game. Because if you watch the first, my me let's play in the first game, yeah, you're gonna kind of understand how I level myself up. I like this, he's stuck in a tree. Oh, what? How did he strike for? That's not fair. Oh, I super guarded it. Oh, man, that was awesome. Oh, I super guarded a Koopa. Wow, that. And wait, is that? He's yelling a dry troop. What? That thing is like, only heals one HP. Wow. That was like, that Goom was actually really weak. Wow, thank god I got Goombella on my side. That Goom sucks. <laughs> god, that was like the most dramatic fight in the whole game. In this whole game so far. Oh, well, my voice cracked there, that's nice. I'm snailing you with a hammer. Yeah, alright. Goombella, head bonk. Boing, boink. Wait, why did he use that? No, it's still gonna hurt anyway. Wait, you realize he thought he'd go flying off the stage of it with a hammer. He'd probably be dead or something like that. And wow, this one hit. Whatever, it still finished them off. And I got six star points. Happy, happy, joy, joy. Just kidding. Ooh, the power block. Nice. I got a lot of power blocks, actually. And you're gonna know why. Here come collectors. Wow, the first time we saw these dudes were back in uh, chapter two in the last game, and they appear here in chapter one. Anyway, let's have Goombella tattle on these guys. 
Uh, that's a bald cleft, basically a rock monster with a swarty looking face. Uh, this is kind of mean, but bald guys really just don't do it. <laughs> uh, max HP is two, attack is one, defense is two. Yeah, this guy is really ro is rock solid. Fire doesn't hurt it. It might be best to attack it with, say, power block. And I got three power blocks. I don't really think there is a way for you to be about using a power block. Da, 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 do, 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 All right, that gate open. Let's head in through it. Oh, wow, that was perfect timing the jump. At least you're dead. Sort of quiet there. No, 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 no. Crap! No! Oh, now I'm awake. Unless, unless you're playing Pokemon, which I'd probably still be sleeping. Oh, dang, I forgot I could do another Super Guard because I can't. And my foot's asleep, that's nice. God, I'm just so lucky with the super guarding in this game. God. Oh, that stupid some. Oh, uh, pretty much what those all those are. Um, I'm gonna explain this quick. Uh, the. the the sunshine, the star thing that you saw in the corner there. Um, if that lands on a, if that lands on a flower thing, if you get three flowers in a row, you get all your FP back. If it's um, if you get um, all mushrooms, you get all your health back. And if it lands on a a shine spirit um, from Mario Sunshine, um, that will actually allow you to get all everything back and get more crap. But if you get the poison mushroom, you, half your health gets cut, half your FB gets cut and you lose half your audience because you can see there's an audience watching my fights. And oh, he's got a power block. He's got a power block. That's not good. Let's kill you. And. Alright, five star porns. They're getting close. Wow, we're almost to another level up already. Jesus. There's another power block, which I'm gonna take, because I like uh, I actually like the power blocks in this game, they really are helpful. Let's get on a coin. Uh oh, Lucy. No, oh, it's like the first thing again. I'm like Gumbella do a tattle on these guys. Uh that's a Bristol totally can totally cover in spikes. They're so prickly. Max HP is two, attack is one, defense is four, and they're Impervious to fire. Even trying to get close enough will whack you with a hammer is dangerous. There's the spikes will totally pop out. So since you can't jump or or use your hammer, you better use an item. Uh, good thing in there, Gumbella. Boom! And you're dead. No, oh, wow! I'm almost into the fit. Holy crap! Wow! I'm almost get. Wow! I'm like, I'm really just getting this close to another level up. Holy crap! That's amazing. Tree here, nothing. Like that tree. Yeah, that's where I nailed you in the back. You're dead, and I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna get hurt. Oh, god. Now I'm stuck in the. Oh, now I'm HP, and I'm back. Hey, but. Oh, wow, that sucked.
a hammer, normal hammer, and die! And I put this up again, that's nice. Ooh, and a fire flower. Let's hit this tree. Come on, tree. Nah, no, nothing. Nothing. An in coupon, I don't want that, because also we're going to give you a free pass into the, into the toad thing, but I don't need that, so let's jump on you. Oh, thank goodness I didn't get the poison mushroom. Wait, that was a regular mushroom. Never mind. They look the same to me. I don't get what the big deal is. Yeah, now you're dead. Knock him over. Let's jump on you. And one more jump. I'm going to finish you off. Oh, so these are HP blocks. You have to spend money on those, and they will heal you up instantly. Uh, okay, let's check the bush here. Nothing. Okay, let's get in. Alright, let's enter here. Let's talk to you. Oh, what's going on? Mm, whoa, whoa, who, uh, uh, you are the finest contestants I've seen in a while. You're the first contestants I've seen in a while. If you come all this way here to the weak fortress, you must want the stone keys. And if that's the case, then you must comp compete against me. If you want, I'll let you through here. I'll let you through to where the stone keys rest. However, if you lose, you will suffer a terrible fate in me. In my terrible, I mean awful. Mm, ooh, uh, uh, uh. So what do you want to do? I like yawn. Mm, mm, uh, you're in for it now. No, I'm gonna lose this um, just to show you guys what happened if we actually did lose this fight. And I'm gonna eat another um. Lappy Taffy, so yeah. Hey, hey, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to, uh, ladies and germs, welcome to everybody, welcome to the 65, 65th Super Funk Work Quiz. Park up those ears, if you correctly answer five of the five unfortunates, you win. But if you get three of them wrong, you'll suffer a, a cruel and unusual punishment. Now for the first question. Sorry about that. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Oh, oh, oh. Wrong! 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 You're wrong! You're wrong! You're wrong! You fools! Remember, if you get three of the wrong, you're going to suffer like you won't believe. <laughs> oh, 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 oh. Don't let the pressure get to you. Um, on the question two, what is the name of Mr. Softener in the Fireflower Cross at the shop in Teleburg total? I don't know, really guess. 20. Oh, I was wrong. You. Blittering meathead, you're wrong again. Get one more wrong, and something wonderfully awful happens to you. Just one more wrong. What's that I hear? A little knees knocking. Moving on. Question number three What is the name of the mayor of Pelleberg? What, I got one right, wow, I got one right by accident. Arr, that's, that's correct. Oh, which was too easy, but it only gets harder from here. Much harder, so prepare yourself. Not done yet, folks, question four. Tell me, where is the Grizzle Star? Report? Nope. Uh-oh. You know what this means, guys? We gotta fight him now, don't we? Oh, time for the pain game. Might as well the first game, actually. 
It'd be nice. I'll, I'll be nice. Beat these guys and I'll let you pass, but you, you can't probably do it. Best of luck, fathead. <laughs> Holy crap, that's a lot of, uh, clock doors, but we're gonna own them. Wait, before I do, let's get Goombell out and let's tattle these dudes first. Uh, let's clip a rockhead jerk with spike on his noggin. What a rocker. <laughs> Max HP is two attack is two defense is two thought. Flat hard head is a major pain. Fire doesn't hurt it, but other types of items are pretty effective usually. usually. If nothing works on it, on it, you can just always run. Let's use a power block on these guys. And wow, that was it. That's how I easily owned them. I did that just for the experience points. 24 experience points. What? It can't be! How did you defe defeat my cute little clefts? Arg! Fine, just whatever you can pass, but I despise you. Hmm. Uh, that dude reminds me of the dude of uh, the one Bowser stat, the uh, Bowser door from the first game, but I think this has been going on for a little long enough now, because it's 31 minutes. Uh, so yeah, join me in the next episode of Paper Mario, The Thousand Year Door, and we will continue on. So that was the